Valkyries are still enjoying their vacation a few days after their island tour. Heliopolis Knox Casino, the most, most luxurious casino in Ark City. Ha ha ha! Did you see that? Another straight flush. My luck has finally come out after, <laughs> has finally come after those kids stopped pestering me. Major Himiko, you should quit while you're ahead. Two Valkyries in stunning dresses have been dominating the poker table, and this drew the attention of the casino's mysterious manager. You can call me Jackal. I've come to applaud you both for your wonderful performance tonight. Yeah, I was I Hikari, I was in the it was in the menu for like half a second there. It's in the collection on your on your iPhone. On behalf of the staff of Heliopolis Knox Casino, you have won seventy nine million. You think I'm blind? I ain't quitting before I take home two hundred million. Another round. Croupier yay. Didn't you hear? Deal the cards. Uh yes. Your luck is impressive. Here, this glass of Cosmopolitan's on me. Great! Pour me another. My spring break is ending soon. With this money, I can force Teresa to extend my break. Drink slowly, dear guest. You'll get drunk at this rate. I'm not drunk. Keep them coming. The bunny ear dealer facing them has been winking at Himiko, but Himiko paid no attention to her. Ha ha ha! Come on, watch me make another straight f f flush. Having drunk 18 glasses of cosmopol Cosmopolitan in one go, Himiko collapsed in a drunken stupor. That's like alcohol poisoning, potentially. Hey, you there. Take her back to her room. She's staying at the room 773 with the other St. Freya guests. Several cute looking croupiers drag croupiers? Croupiers drag Himiko away, just as Fuhua was getting up to follow them. Please wait, dear guest. Don't you want to continue the streak? If I'm not mistaken, you have quite the hand. Fuhua picked up Himiko's cards. She held a ten, a jack, a queen, and a king of hearts. She was only one card away from a straight flush. The hand was killer. It suddenly hit Fuhua. That she could solve St. Freya's financial problems, allowing its members to take as many leaves as they would please. There are three cards in front of Jackal. I'll take a shot then. We lose anyways. Three of diamonds. She flipped the uh, two of the other cards, which were an ace and a nine of hearts. What? What a pity. You were so close, but you still have 77. Enough said. Let's have another round. <laughs> Just a Tuesday for Himiko. In the following rounds, Fuhua always began with a strong hand and ended up with a curb stomping, curb <laughs> and being curb stomped by the banker, all thanks to her rotten luck. This is bad. I just blew the stag staggering sum Major Himiko won tonight in a few rounds. I'm sorry, I goodness, I've never seen such a reversal. I'll make an exception for you. If you win the next round, I'll write off the first nine rounds and let you take eighty million. What what do you say? Fuhua double-checked her hand. A king of spades, a king of diamonds, an ace of spades, and an ace of diamonds. Her opponent had a laughably weak hand of a two, three threes and a two. Fuhua regained her confidence. You can quit and leave with the last 87 yuan in your pocket, of course. She felt more assertive than ever. She would not let Himiko's efforts go to waste. She must prove her luck. If she wins this round, her life will turn around and everything will change for the better. Let the cards do the talking. Believe in the heart of the cards. Fuhua spread out a full house with a smile. She managed to recoup Himiko's winnings and can go home triumphantly. It was a good draw, only. Jackal drew the three of diamonds she was missing, forming a quad which ranked above a full house. What? The Valkyrie of St. Freyo only went on holiday to Ark City this morning and had already run up a huge debt at Heliopolis Knox Casino the same night thanks to two members and were taken into custody by Ark City's debt management office. 
Even Hyperion was towed to the hangar for a further disposition. Rats, why isn't the call going through? How am I supposed to ask my grandpa for help? The Bronya suspects this facility is protected by a powerful electromagnetic field. We can only communicate outward via their devices. Bronya, I'm fine as long as I'm with Bronya. May, I'm starving and I can't feel my limbs. Am I dying? Help me. Hold on, Kiana. Help is coming. Principal, let me get this straight. How the hell did you get St. Freya into a debt of 80 million? What were you thinking? I could have walked away with 79 million. Don't you dare bring it up. We haven't paid up what we owe to that Malu Yazi Island. And you already lost our 10 year budget in one night. You tell me how I keep this school afloat. The door of the cell suddenly opened when they were feeling more miserable than ever. You're in luck. An idiot is willing to settle your debts under certain conditions. Is it Grandpa? Did Grandpa transfer the money to me? I'm sorry to let you down. I'm Yei Sakura and I shouldn't have taken this long. Ah, weren't you the bunny ear dealer we saw yesterday? Why would you have the money to bail us out? This doesn't make sense. My, sta my status may be humble, but I own the Yei Mahjong Parlor. Heliopolis has been coveting it for some time, so I mortgaged it to them. I'll ask Grandpa to pay you back after we return to St. Freya. You've misunderstood. A conditional bailout means you need our help. Indeed. I sense everyone's hungry. Why don't you come to my place to discuss the details? My beds are soft and warm, and the onigiri I make... Onigiri? What? Where? I want it now! Yay, Mahjong Parlor. <laughs> the paroled Var Val Valkyries found this place devoid of human activity. But at least the onigiri are warm. Oh my god, the onigiri are huge! Nom nom nom! Slow down, Kiana, you'll choke! <laughs> the Bronya has so many. Do you have a terminal? The Bronya would like to try to contact... Hyper try contacting Hyperion. There's one in the room. You may use it. As soon as Bronya left, Teresa hopped out with bunny ears. Boss Ye, why do I have to wear this? The bunny ears fit you well, but the costume looks a little outdated. Callan? Yes. Order some trendier bunny costumes for me. Understood. The assistant of the Mahjong parlor ran back into the room to carry out her new task. Looks like we got fooled by that conditional bailout contract. <laughs> Not exactly. I just want you to help restore my Mahjong parlor to its former glory by holding a concert. More like dancing in funny clothes. Please remember that we were competing against Jackal's Heliopolis Corp. Cor. Corp. Cor corporation. The largest conglomerate in Arc City. I'm in dire need of your help. Speaking of Jackal and Hot Heliopolis, I can't get over how inexplicable my losing was yesterday. Yes, she set you up. Heliopolis wants to rule Arc City, so it's trying to drive Shenzo's strongest organization, Shixel, out of the picture. You mean Saint Freya? That's not happening. Everyone listen up. We gotta protect Saint Freya and help Bossier bust their conspiracy. Meanwhile, at a corner in Hyperion, a corporeal AI seemed to be unaware of the commotion outside. With everyone gone, I can finally direct all the power to the private server of Curse Sphere. Better do some speed leveling while they're busy vacationing. Day three, Immortal Blades, move out to defend Shixel's dignity. Somewhere, high above the Mediterranean, Shixel HQ floating island, Shixel's strongest Valkyrie received an emergency directive from the Overseer and is hurrying to the designated meeting place. Have you received the same message, Rita? Could it be a Honkai beast I can't take down on my own? I'm afraid not. Such missions usually get straight to the point by giving you the coordinates and do not require your attendance to a meeting. Rita had barely finished speculating when Otto appeared behind them and interjected. Rita, you're as sharp as ever. Sharp as always. Detecting the slightest aberration. It is indeed no ordinary Honkai incident. Someone set up an illicit private server for Curse Fear, which is very resource intensive. Curse Fear is an MMO the Overseer has been playing. It's quite popular among the young ones. 
The private server is estimated to consume 61% of Hyperion's power. Is the overseer suggesting that Hyperion might have, may have been hijacked? Correct. Hyperion St. Freya's assets, so my interference would be deemed inappropriate. I can only ask you to... I can only ask you to investigate. Remember that Shiksel must not be disgraced. Understood. The two Valkyries arrived at Ark City, gathered intel at the local Shiksel intelligence agency, and finally found the Ye Mahjong parlor sitting in the suburb. Durandal knocked on the door without hesitating. Welcome to Ye Mahjong Par- Rita! A debt of nearly 80 million. All St. Freya personnel arrested by local authorities agreed on a conditional bail from the owner of a gambling parlor. Why? It wasn't me. I'm not Teresa. I'm Teridi. We're closed for the day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Teresa slammed the door shut, raising a cloud of dust. The two then heard noises of heavy objects being pushed and stacked against the door. This means Teresa doesn't want to... To bother the overseer but the solution she came up with backfired watching our lovely principal suffer is like having my fragile heart sheath a knife a sheath a knife um, rita are you trying to laugh cry or please excuse me master drandall we must continue investigating semi-shocked eyes drandall clenched her fist Swung it at the door. The door crashed into the ground. The cupboard, rock, sofa, and huge humu plush barricading the barricading it were all sent flying. Straight to the point as expected, Master Durandal. But why didn't she just jump over the wall? Let's go, Rita. <laughs> Rita felt a murderous aura wash over her when she set foot in the parlor. I'm Yehe Sakura. That door was of great historical value, being over 500 years old and all. It's expensive. The sighing eye expression. The Valkyries of the Immortal Blades finally grasped the ins and outs of the incident after Yai explained it to them patiently. I see. We'll go tow Hyperion out now. By doing so, we'll give Heliopolis an excuse to confiscate Vassier's property. Jackal will take advantage of the situation and make it known that, and defame Shixel. Shixel's prestige will be utterly trampled. We can't let our affiliation to, to St. Freya or Immortal Blades divide us. We're all Valkyries against the greater enemy. That's the spirit. But is Master Durandal truly interested in dancing with everyone while wearing bunny ears? Bunny ears? Dancing? Did I sleep on anything major? Look, the St. Freyers are rehearsing there. Unresigned, Jackal infiltrated Ye Mahjong Parlor with Raven, but fell right into a trap. Who will walk out alive? Oh, whoops. Here we go. Night. Yay, Majung Parlor. Heliopolis Corporation CEO Jackal and her right hand Raven made their way to the parlor, only to discover its entrance had been blasted open by a presumably by presumably a large cannon. What in the world happened? I'm guessing Shixel sent Valkyries to break in and collect the same Freya gang. Screw them, this door has a long history. It's expensive. <laughs> I don't see why we're visiting this unpopular Majung parlor in the middle of nowhere at midnight. Hmm, of course you can't. Sire has assigned a task of utmost importance and secrecy to me. This is the chance to capture the entire gang. The corridors of the parlor are eerily silent without any sign of human presence. Where is everyone? Where have they run have they run from away from their debts? Hyperion is still grounded in our secret hangar. I doubt they'll leave it here. With resounding bangs, the doors and windows surrounding them shut themselves one by one. The parlor succumbed to the darkness. Hmm. Yai, yeah, do you actually believe that that would scare me? Hissing at your own shadow? Wow. If you have time to be sarcastic, why don't you get busy with finding a way out? Yeah, whatever. This switch should be on the wall. Raven was still dragging Jackal around to find the switch when the generator roared to life. The dim light lit up creepy silhouettes. Who are you? A brat! This is St. Freya's Valkyrie Bronya. A silver wolf raised by that fox, Kakalia. A silver wolf, my rear end. Do you actually believe you could scare us by switching off the light? Jackal let go of Raven's hand, flipped her hair, and reverted to her arrogant self. Major Himiko, the Bronya was about to replace the Bron Fuse, but found two spies instead. Should we apprehend them? Aha! The world's a small place, Bronya. 
Bronya, this masked woman is Arc City's most infamous fraudster. We lost the money that we won to her uh, that day to her. Fraudster? <laughs> you should ask the Valkyrie who played cards with you. What poor luck to lose all her money in 10 rounds. Not even the worst luck can humi <laughs> humiliate a loser like that. I'd say it was all your work. Do you have proof? They remained deadlocked for a while. One is St. Freya's strongest teacher, the other one being the de facto ruler of Arc City. Bronya, does the luck training program that took you several days to write for Fuhua work? We'll see. The Bronya's calling Fuhua. Hello, is it Fuhua? Come to the first floor hall. Oh, you want to win back what you lost at the table? Not a chance, Raven. Raven, take them down. You want to do it the hard way? Actually, letting my fists do the talking is my style. Oh, do you require cleaning services? Found the enemy? My knuckles were just getting bored. This is the food I ordered? Huh? Courier, do these days... Do couriers these days wear masks? Weird. Couriers do wear masks these days. So they are the ones who sent us to jail a few days ago. They crossed the line. It must be them. The one wearing a mask looks like a villain. If you've come to discuss mortgage conditions, I will prepare refreshments for you. Otherwise, he'll regret laying a finger on us. Do you know who you're dealing with? <laughs> who? You're not the one who's calling the shots? You, Raven, dispose of them. That I cannot, boss. We're outnumbered and dying for my employer isn't in my job description. <laughs> Alright. I need to get a snack soon. But in the meantime, let's conclude. Oh, I love this part. She blinked and found herself in a strange place. What's this place? Why is the eerie so? You know, why is the music so eerie? The masked baddie is in the realm of RNG, the holy shrine of card dueling. How is this possible? You trap me in virtual reality so you can jack into my brain for secrets. The masked baddie has a point. This elf will now begin removing your brain tissue by force. Wait, 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 wait! That was a joke. But what are you trying to do to me? This elf wants to play cards with the masked baddie. Play cards. The masked baddie will now select an opponent. Red Queen. I can tell the user's a noob by the name. Little Bronya, did you forget to change my username? My nameplate still reads Rita. The strange maid arrived late, so this elf forgot to update her name. Now I'm not choosing her. She's an s rank Valkyrie from Shixel. I'm sick of toying with them. Sit back. OP hacks or Silverwolf. Isn't this a supporting character from Cybernet Havens? She can't dish out damage, so I doubt she's any better at cards. Why hasn't that silver wolf? Bronya is angry. Forgot to update outfit data. Meh, wolf does not want to play with baddie anymore. Phoenix. Huh? Why am I here? She'll do. She'll do. I'll play against her. Who am I fighting against? Her? But I don't know anything about PvP. That's not my business. I choose her. Let's begin. Good. Game. Start. Jackal drew her card with gleaming poise. In stark contrast, Fuhua sat opposite her, looking fidgety. But after losing a few rounds, it became apparent that Jackal was the one who was short on luck. I don't believe this. I just won? Crap, losing hundreds of points like that. I've got no other choice but to use the Heliopolis cheat plugins. Will they work in virtual reality? Something's on fire. I think some something's bur somebody's burning incense downstairs. <laughs> Jackal dubiously activated the powerful algorithm chip planted in her brain. To her relief, the statistics began pouring in her mind. Fuha already has a nine of diamonds, hearts, clubs, and an ace of diamonds in hand. She drew another card. The card put a big grin on her face, on the face of her inept opponent. Jackal threw a quick glance. It should be either be, it should be either a nine of diamonds or an ace of hearts. Don't get cocky yet, Fuhua. She has three cards before her. A five, six, a seven, and a nine of spades in her hand. She needed a flush to guarantee victory. 
God of Gamblers, Ace Cutter. Only the cards needed by Jackal were left. The dealer would not make a difference. Four of spades. Game is set. A flush. Oops, I got too lucky. Wait, this elf shall flip the other two cards. Three identical four of spades expose the truth. I did not. I did not cook anything today. Bam! Jackal woke up with a blurry vision. She could only make out the sound of people talking over her. Path confirmed. Two illegal plugins named See Through and God of Gamblers. I didn't realize Jackal was that unethical. I guess this is the end for Heliopolis Knox Casino. Somehow, I feel so touched that I might cry. Turns out it wasn't my bad luck, but my opponent was cheating. Great, this means you're no longer in a huge debt and I can redeem my mahjong parlor. Does it mean we don't have to perform? Dancing in a bunny costume is way too embarrassing. But the reopening of Yay Mahjong Parlor needs to attract the crowd. Yeah, we've been rehearsing for a few days and I want more of those big onigiri. The Bronya doesn't mind since she's not dancing. <laughs> she's uh, on the uh, sound effects team. I can help out. Master Durandal, won't you join us? Fine, I suppose. You can do whatever you like. I'll just pretend I'm doing aerobics. By the way, Miss Murata, your costume can't be altered, so you'll have to make do. Everyone changed into bunny costumes, and we're getting ready to initiate the greatest reburn performance for the Yay Mahjong Parlor. And you can see the full version of this in your, well, not the full version of the dance, but you can see this uh, looping video in the game files. Everyone changed, okay. You two need to let go. The audience doesn't like shy performers. The two next to you are doing a good job. Learn from them. Can I just be a tree? It's better than being a rabbit. Why doesn't Bronya need to perform? Hey, keep it up, Kiana. Or have you already grown tired? How about a cup of bitter melon green tea? It's super invigorating. Me, of all people, is cleaning up after my vessel, who's enjoying her nap. Why are their costumes styled after a maid dress and golden armor when Rita and I joined <laughs> impromptu? I can far hardly fit in this tiny costume. I think someone's here. Oh, this part's great. <sighs> I don't know why I received this curious invitation. Uh, why did you come? And who are you? Are you referring to me? Why shouldn't I come? Mr. Welt, you're suggesting a dangerous thing. Just as the big three were finding their seats, their communicators began beeping all at once. Overseer, hey, well, why didn't you tell me about heading out? Mape was desperately looking for you. Sire, the detestable Shixel Valkyries disrupted our grand scheme for Ark City. Raven double-crossed us. They even locked me in. They glared at each other, but all made the tacit choice of sitting down as soon as the music began playing. If it's a regular Honkai incident, our branch can handle it. Another few minutes wouldn't hurt. Can't be anything important if you're taking it so lightly. Let's settle down and enjoy the show. And you, Captain, can sit with us and enjoy the show. <laughs> Yay! March 28th, but that was a scheme. That was just the trailer. A one minute extended trailer. <laughs> <laughs> 